Hi all and welcome to this video about ECAM, the Energy, Performance and Carbon Emissions Assessment and Monitoring Tool. In this video I just want to give a brief introduction about what ECAM is and I'll do that by talking first about the idea behind ECAM, showing you all the ECAM flow diagram, and finally just giving a few more characteristics about the tool itself. ECAM was developed to give a uniform method for GHG accounting in the water sector. What this looks like more specifically is that data from utilities, so from water treatment or wastewater treatment utilities, can be entered into the tool and the tool then calculates how much greenhouse gases are being emitted by the facility. Also, the idea is, is that that information can help utilities then make decisions that are more climate friendly for the future. The structure of ECAM and also the basis of the ECAM tool is shown by the flow diagram. You can see here that there are two broad stages of the water sector, first water supply and second sanitation. Water supply emits CO2 in its stages of extraction, treatment, and distribution, mostly through energy use in those stages. Sanitation, as you all can see, is a bit more complicated for a few reasons. One is that it includes discharge and sludge management, and also in the treatment process, as well as in discharge and sludge management, the treatment processes and the decomposition of organic matter produce both methane and nitrous oxide. The logic of this diagram is the basis of the ECAM tool. So basically the tool itself allows users to enter information about all or any of these stages and then evaluate the greenhouse gas emissions that they are producing. The ECAM tool does this by using constants and equations from the IPCC, the International Panel on Climate Change. This means that the tool is scientifically up to date, but also politically relevant because it can be used to report on NDCs. The tool is completely online, which means that it does not save any data, so it's secure, but also that users do need to be conscious of saving their data locally, regularly. Finally, it's open source and the code is available to all on GitHub. I hope that this was a good introduction to Ecamm and that you all use the rest of the videos in the series to learn how to use it. Thank you for listening.